how to recognize and react to narcissists' gaslighting control techniques. In today's video, we will talk about gaslighting, a sort of psychological, mental, and spiritual abuse that is often difficult to recognize. The practice of gaslighting is a hallmark of narcissistic abuse. Someone is gaslighting you if they try to get you to question your own sanity by casting doubt on your perceptions, recollections, and identity. And narcissists achieve this goal by fabricating stories, exaggerating events, denying reality, and manipulating others. It takes place when a significant other or close friend manipulates your emotions intentionally. The victim is gaslighted or made to feel responsible for the harm done to them. Their feelings and opinions will suffer as a result. Why? One typical Spanish term for gaslight is to flip the cake unto the other. A tactic for dealing with vulnerability by diverting attention from one's own frailties and directing it toward those of another, usually in the form of a very creative attack. The embarrassing act of using made-up phrases that have no meaning in everyday life. Those who have gone through something like this tend to lose faith in their own emotional faculties and become unable to make sound decisions as a result. The term smokescreen or smoke curtain in Spanish refers to this tactic of deceit. It's a method for concealing things or individuals from public view. Even if people are acting normally and following the regulations, it is impossible to determine if something is being hidden privately for one's own convenience. The truth will eventually emerge, but it will take some time. In the psychological manipulation known as gaslighting, one person leads another to deny the reality of his or her current or prior experiences. One of the primary goals of an abuser is to cause their victim to doubt their own identity, their own memory, and even their own sanity. A person's feelings and observations are more important to them than their experience and knowledge. Because of this, the abused person and bystanders alike will continue to believe the abuser is in the right. Instead, they attribute the issue to the target, believing that they just aren't perceiving or recalling things accurately. The liar wants you to question your own beliefs and the truths you see when you take an honest look at the situation. They'll tell you that you're overreacting, oversensitive, and emotionally unstable. As narcissists are preoccupied with themselves, the prospect of exposure is one of their greatest fears. Blaming others, especially within toxic and dysfunctional family systems, can cause irreparable harm that may take years to overcome. Anxiety, fear, and confusion are the intended outcomes of gaslighting, which is a kind of emotional, mental, and spiritual abuse. To be clear, both the abuser, termed the gaslighter, and the victim, termed the gaslighted, are involved in the intentional and systematical acts, even though the victim might not realize it. Everyone is vulnerable to being gaslit, regardless of age, color, gender, or intelligence. That has nothing bearing on your sanity, health, or the veracity of the abuser's claims. You are vulnerable to such treatment because of your good nature and lack of self-interest, and often this is due to a lifetime of abuse, as if it's being normalized that you're being made to feel responsible for everything from an early age. When someone you care about treats you badly, it's difficult to comprehend because you've never behaved this way yourself as an empath. Those who are more on the destructive end of the narcissism spectrum can't receive our assistance. They could care less about you or your well-being. If you say nothing and let it continue, the abuser will continue to utilize gaslighting techniques and shift the blame to you or someone else. If someone is making you feel uneasy or forcing you to explain or defend yourself, they may be gaslighting you. Just because someone says they care or acts concerned doesn't mean they actually do. That could mean you're feeling awkward or unsure of yourself in social situations. More trouble awaits you if you find yourself constantly apologizing, explaining, or defending yourself, even if you know you haven't done anything wrong. Let's say you're constantly questioning the veracity of your internal experiences, including your emotions, thoughts, memories, and sanity. If yes, it's likely you've had or are often experiencing gaslighting. So here's the deal. Gaslighting is deceiving, manipulating, and flat out lying in order to obtain power and influence. The term gaslighting refers to a type of psychological and emotional manipulation in which the target is subjected to efforts to alter their state of mind. The challenging part always comes after a misunderstanding or a communication breakdown has occurred. So, if you see a trend with a certain individual or group of people, 
it may be useful to the person you suspect of gaslighting you to continue the pattern. When you consider that the supposed misunderstanding is frequently referred to as simply another misunderstanding, you can see how widespread this misconception is. Check in with yourself and see if there's somebody who causes you anxiety or makes you feel like you owe an apology. Is it your standard operating procedure to always pin the blame on some fictitious issue or trouble you conjured up? If they want you and other people to think you're crazy, how hard do you think they're trying? Consider it seriously. Long-term emotional abuse, such as gaslighting, causes the victim to question their own beliefs and recollections. Be aware of the warning signals your body sends. Pay attention to whether or if the narcissist frequently attributes the cause of his or her issues to outside sources. They are quick to blame us for everything that goes wrong in their lives, even their relationships. They take pleasure in insulting, misleading, and generally humiliating us. To make others think they are superior to the rest of us is their primary objective. The self-worth and self-esteem of the other person can be damaged in any relationship if one person constantly puts down the other by making them feel like they aren't paying attention or, worse, foolish, silly, inadequate, or inferior. Those who engage in such behavior are either cunning or uncaring. The narcissist will try to gaslight you all day long, but good, honest, loving, sympathetic individuals will see through the charade. A person who is often told they aren't worthy of love will eventually internalize that humiliation. And it's not hard to understand how this motivates people to push themselves even further in their pursuit of the affection, acclaim, and esteem they've always craved. Unfortunately, none of this is true. The narcissist may have an increase in their sense of control and authority as a result. Whether or not you are familiar with the term gaslighting or the practice it describes, let me assure you, you do not have to put up with it. One's emotional or psychological well-being is none of another's business, whether in a personal or professional setting. No one is making you cope with it. It's up to you to decide. Nobody deserves to be told they are insane, wrong, or not good enough because of their memories or perspectives on the world. They keep behaving like you do even if it has nothing to do with you. Actually, they're both lying to you and about you. None of them are telling the truth, and you shouldn't listen to them. Simply be yourself and give them space to do the same. This brief explanation should prove useful, I believe. Leave a comment below and let us know what you think and what you've experienced. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell button below the video to receive notifications of new uploads. We appreciate you watching this and taking the time to comment. Thanks.